during childhood, I always had this dream that I would live in a world where people don't talk but sing. Maybe you wonder why a child had this dream. That's because I have a handicap, stuttering. And when you have this, especially as a child, in the classroom, you feel isolated. The moment the teacher asks, Anthony, what is the answer on this question? Anthony, can you read out this sentence loud? Those are questions for somebody who is stuttering. Those questions are terrible. Classical singing helped me to overcome or to deal with my handicap in a technical way. But I'm here today because education is the theme and I want to share with you how education, how going into the classroom, giving focal workshops, helped me to deal with my handicap in an emotional way. Years ago, when I did my final exam at high school, I had to choose what I want to become, what kind of a study. So for two years, I was searching. And after two years, I had the answer. I went to my parents, who were already in doubt, what is he going to do with his life? I went to my parents with the answer, out of the blue. I said, you know what I want to become? Opera singer. I want to study classical music, out of the blue. So, my parents were very sweet, so they gave me this possibility. So, I prepared for the auditions. And, of course, the first one were a nightmare, but one day I had luck. One of the conservatory took me. And there I was, in this world of people who were talking about Schumann, Schubert, Bach, Beethoven, as if they were their best friends. But I couldn't tell, hey guys, I couldn't tell this, hey guys, you know why I'm here? I have to deal with my handicap. So, all right, I worked within the conservatorium and really the voice went better and better. And I already noticed after three years, four years, I wasn't the best student they had. But after seven years, I had to do my final exam. The day I had to do my exam, my friends and family were waiting outside, and two hours before, I had to go to the main hall. They took me out of the main hall. They put me in a very small hall because I didn't have the quality to sing in the big hall. So I had to put all my friends and family into this small hall. I did my exam, and I was free. I could work. I had some work, you know, in choir and everywhere. But I missed something. I wanted to go back into the classroom, where everything started, where this dream started, which inspired me to do what I'm doing. So I created by myself workshops, education workshops, vocal workshops, workshops about opera, and then I went into the classroom. And I discovered something else. Going into a classroom and say, I'm going to give a vocal workshop. Hmm. They're watching. And you have to inspire those beautiful people within three minutes, no more. Otherwise, you're lost. I think that's the best training for every performer on stage. <laughs> the other thing is, the youngsters in the classroom are the most, they are the most critical in a positive way. They see, smell, hear, feel the quality. They are not interested in my vocal techniques. They, they are interested who you are. They are interested in my authenticity and not in the virtuosity. Seven years ago, I was giving one of my workshops and a girl raised her hand. And she asked me, can you tell me why you started studying classical singing? And of course, this question came past years very often. But this time, the question was different. 
everything in her voice, the way she asked it, was different. I felt I have to tell something else. I have to tell the truth. So I told her. Once I was your age in the classroom, I had this dream to live in a world where people don't talk but sing. You know why? I have a handicapped stuttering. At the end of every workshop, I always ask the youngsters to stand up and sing with me. And, and that's sometimes not very easy, but this time, because I told my story for the first time, the energy was completely different. They raised up in a different way. We sang in a different way. And I thought at that moment, wait a minute. My story is a metaphor for you know, every feeling of being isolated, not part of the world. And after this workshop, a boy came to me to thank me for the workshop. And he wanted to thank me. And it took a lot of time because he was stuttering. And I thought, how beautiful, how beautiful. Three years ago, I sang my first Wagner opera because my voice was getting better because of the education workshops. You know, I was singing this Wagner role, Alberich, and the press was very positive about me. I was so happy. And one of my colleagues came to me, Anthony, you know, I know you from a long time ago, and the voice wasn't that good. I think it was very polite. How is it possible that you develop this voice in this way? Who is your teacher? What kind of a workshop did you do? I said, you know what you have to do? You have to go into a classroom, stand before this cosmopolitan world with our you know, high educated uh, Western classical style, stand in this cosmopolitan world and try to inspire those beautiful youngsters within three minutes while you do what you do. Don't start to sing, just tell your story. And if you feel that you have inspired them, Go to the stage, and you will know what had happened in this lesson. The dream which I once had in the classroom is still there. I think the most important thing is that if we have a dream, it's so important that we inspire others to, who are maybe doubting about their dreams, or are afraid of their dreams, or are ashamed of their dreams, to believe in these dreams. Because that also gives you something that you can say maybe afterwards, whoa, this is what a dream can do. Whoa, this is what art can do. Whoa, this is what education can do. Thank you so much.